Hey everybody, it's Keith Couch, Rocky Mountain Peterbilt's Rush Truck Centers here in Greeley, Colorado. Got a brand new 2024 Peterbilt 567 day cab. Uh, it's you know, red orange color, it's a tractor. It's a good looking truck. You got about a 230 inch wheelbase. It's an automated transmission, 12 speed automated. You got a 13-2 steer axle, 40,000 pound rears. Just a nice work spec truck. Got a tapered front bumper. And it's not the deep taper. You can see about right here. It, it's thinner. Sometimes they're a little deeper there and they call that the deep taper. So it's not quite that deep. Uh, good looking truck. Stainless steel visor. We didn't really do anything to this. We added the hubcaps, nut covers, and the Michelins up front, 11R 22.5s. Polished tank. Haven't had a chance to get this one washed up yet. 80 gallon tank on this side, medium def tank. Michelin XDN 2s on the rear. Got disc brakes all the way around. Outboard mount fifth wheel. 100 gallon tank on this side. This thing pretty much just runs locally in Colorado. So this is the three piece rear window. All pieces are fixed, so nothing, no slider, no nothing. You can delete and just do a single window in the middle and not have the two outside ones, but it brings in so much more light. The cab feels much bigger as well. Nice polished tank, polished after treatment. Says the long nose. Uh, but it has a Packard engine in it. I'm sorry, we did Cummins in this one. I was thinking it was the Packard. It is the Cummins. Because that's the only one we could get at the time. There was a slot open for a Cummins. This fleet normally runs Packard engines. There's the anti-blowdown device, so you flip, flip that up so I can shut the hood. Davco 382 fuel filter, jumper posts, Cummins X15, and this one is it's a 525 horsepower. You see there filter one piece windshield and we don't do anything different on this really just pretty much all stock we're not changing or adding anything this company will send this to a body shop and it's going to get some silver stripes on it standard interior If you can see there's the weight 16 670 is the weight I don't know what's going on with the camera here since it's probably gonna wind up at the body shop we just left the uh, plastic on the seats power windows power locks So it is the Cummins 525. No navigation in this one, just gauges. AM, FM, Bluetooth. Got the smart wheel. There's the A panel. Factory CB. There's all your spare switches. One thing Peterbilt is doing now, it's nice, is these USB ports. Very nice. And you get a 12 volt over here, but those are really handy for charging your phone. And these, they do not rattle at all. Very nice. So this is your base interior in a Peterbilt. Very nice. It's nothing fancy, just a good, good interior. So thought I would share this one with you. 
that's the drink holder, floor mounted drink holder. Put your super tanker back there. And then that's a, just a folder holder back there for paperwork, things like that. So, just thought I would share this one with you. It will be going out in the morning. So I just thought I'd give you a quick video of it. It's not as fancy as a lot of the stuff we do and you know things like that, but it's just a good solid work truck. Uh, 336 gears, 13 speed Eaton Ultra Shift and a Cummins 525 X15. So there you have it. Wish you guys all a Merry Christmas and uh, take care. Thank you for watching.